in figure black one has a mass 460 gram black one mass is 460 gram and black two mass is 500 gram so black two mass is greater than the black one mass so that this block is moving down downward direction it moves upward direction here axis means downward side and then here axis means upward so this is the condition right now which is mounted on horizontal axis okay this is axis camera mounted on here negligible friction okay as the radius is equal to 5 centimeter the drum radius is the pulley radius is 5 centimeter which is converted into meter 5 into 10 power minus 2 meter when released from rest released from rest means initial angular velocity is 0 the block 2 falls 7 to 5 centimeter here this block 2 is falls down to 75 centimeter this is a displacement of the black in time 5 seconds. So, displacement is LX of black 2 is 75 centimeter converted into meter 75 into 10 power minus 2 meter. The time taken to fall del T for fall is 5 seconds. Okay, now we use without the car slipping on the pulley there is no slippage very much important if it is slip there is a friction force involved what is the magnitude of the acceleration of the block what is the magnitude of the acceleration of the block okay we have to find the acceleration for the any block okay we have data for the block too because this block to displaced into 75 centimeter so i choose the block to write the equation for the block to then we find out the acceleration. This axis is equal to the block one axis. The very basic principle. Then we find out the tension two and tension one. Uh, same as what we did in uh, Newton's law of motion. Then what is the magnitude of pulley's angular acceleration? Pulley or angular acceleration. And most importantly, we need to find the rotation. So we have to find out uh, one by one. First, we need to find what is the acceleration of the block. So I can choose block B. Block two. Block two is moves from rest. So initial angular velocity. So okay, you don't uh, use the angular velocity term uh, velocity term because it is translational motion. Move vertically. So initial velocity is zero. U. We don't know the final velocity, but we need a time. We know the time taken. Time taken is five seconds, and we know the displacement. Displacement is seventy-five into ten power minus two. This kind of data we have. So we choose the formula. So the formula is what? Y is equal to U T plus of A T square. Here I am choosing the downward direction is possible. As per our convenience, we may choose whatever the direction. Here I am choosing the downward direction is positive. Initial velocity is 0. Half A. What is the time taken? 5 square. Displacement 75 into 10 power minus 2. By solving this, we get the value for acceleration. Acceleration is equal to 2 into. 75 into 10 power minus 2 divided by 3, 3, 24, 75. By solving, we get the acceleration is equal to 6 into 10 power minus 2 meters per second. So, first we find out the acceleration. So, already found the okay. acceleration is 6 into 10 power minus 2 meters per second square. Next, we need to find the tension in the block one and tension in the block two. So that I have chosen a free ball diagram. Draw a free ball diagram for free ball diagram for block two. The 
choose a black tool, this is a mass tool, then tool, the gravity force is moving downward and the tension is moving upward direction. We know that all those things actually in downward direction. When the object moves in downward direction, it is reduced the fall weight is reduced upper and weight loss. We know that the what is the upper and weight loss reduced solve the problem several times. So that means the tension in the rope two, this is T2, is this is mass two, is loss, apparent weight loss here. So T2 is equal to M2 of G minus C. If you solve the equation in the social procedure, here I am choosing downward direction is positive tension is upward so minus T2 plus M2G is equal to M2G so T2 is equal to what M2G minus M2G so M2 is common so G minus A this is it. Without solving we, uh, we avoid these steps so if I uh, directly write the formula by using the apparent weight loss principle. When the object moves downward direction, we lose the weight by the amount of the axis. This is general procedure. We solve the several times. Similarly, when the block moves upward for mass 1, this is the tension. This is mass 1 G. Tension 1, if the block moves upward, it gains the weight, gains the force, gains the tension force. So T1 is equal to M1. G plus A. This is our equation 1. This is our equation 2. By solving, we easily find out what is the tensor 2, what is the tensor 1. Because we know, the, we know the all the values. So T2 is equal to what is the value of M2? M2 is 500 gram. 500 gram or kilogram? 500 gram. So convert into kilogram. 500 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram gravity 9.8 meters per second square what is the acceleration acceleration is 6 into 10 power 2 meters per second square so from this we get the value of the tensor 2 tensor 2 is 4.87 newton Similarly, easy to find out the tension 1. Tension 1 is equal to mass. Mass 1 is 460 gram converted into kilogram. Then G 9.8 meters per second square plus the acceleration 4 minus 2 meters per second square. By solving, we get the tension 1. The tension 1 is 4.8. 5, 4, this is the tension. This is tension. Easy. So what we need to find next? Tension 1 and tension 2. What is the magnitude of pulley's angular acceleration? What is the acceleration here? Here acceleration. Here is the drawings. At each and every location, at the edge of the pulley, we have a tangential axis. We have a formula. What is the axis and tangential axis formula? Tangential axis is equal to alpha. So alpha is the angular axis of the pulley. Alpha is angular acceleration. So, alpha is equal to tangential acceleration divided by the R. Already find out the tangential acceleration which is 6 into 10 power minus 2 meters per second square. Then what is the radius? Radius is 5 centimeter. So, 5 into 10 power minus 2 meter. So, 10 power minus 2, 10 power minus 2. So, 
the angular axis is 6 by 5 by 7 1 point 2 radians by second square okay correct then finally we need to find the what is the rotation inertia here you follow the formula for the rotation inertia top is equal to i into alpha we need a i so i is equal to what tau by alpha what is the torque involved there and we told the torque is equal to force in the distance here two kind of forces acting one is the tension field another one is tension one because uh, we are choosing the ground in the other rope is fall so always tension is away from the body so tension 2 tend to rotate the body in clockwise tension 1 rotate the body in anti-clockwise direction because tension 1 pulling downward direction if you look into the now anti-clockwise motion but tension 2 then in the positive tension 1 will be I'm choosing a gap is the positive. So T2 in top is equal to what? Force into distance. So there are two forces in what? T2 into the force is the radial distance. R minus T1 is the radial distance is out. Go to this ground is involved in this direction. Here ground is involved in this direction. Good. So, substitute the formula for the torque. T2 R minus T1 R given by the alpha. Take out the R outside. T2 minus T1 divided by alpha. So what is the value of the radius of the drum? Radius of the drum is 5 cm. So 5 into 10 power minus 2. T2 value is 4.87 minus 4.54. What is the value of alpha? 1.2. By solving, wait for the answer. Answer is one point 